What is up, MFers? Hope you're having an amazing day today. We're mixing up today. What do you know? Doing something completely different. You know, uh, about a week ago, I went fishing for trout in a stream, and I used a little dollar spinner from Walmart, and I actually caught some fish on it, and I got a lot of good feedback on that, and it was just kind of part of the video. I wasn't doing a, a challenge for that or anything, but a lot of people commented on the video said, you should try to do a $1 fishing challenge. And I remember way back when I did the Walmart fishing challenge, and that was a suggestion as well to do a dollar fishing challenge. So what do you know? We're doing a cheap lures fishing challenge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over to Walmart real quick, pick out some cheap fishing lures, maybe some $1 lures, anything cheaper than $3 we're gonna consider part of our little challenge today. I haven't been there in a while, so I'm honestly not really sure what they have in stock for that price range, but hopefully we'll pick some of those out, catch some bass, maybe catch some other species. Totally brings me back to my roots though, because uh, I mean, I always went to Walmart with my parents, you know, shopping or whatever, and I always beg them for one or $2 or, uh, or I would have like a couple dollars from my allowance saved up or whatever to buy some baits. So today is gonna be kind of like that. Hopefully we'll get some baits, go out to the lake, catch some fish on them. Now, if you do like these challenge videos, I know a lot of you guys said you liked them in the past, go hit the thumbs up and then comment down below a challenge you would like to see me do moving forward but let's get to walmart definitely christmas season in here fishing section all sorts of different things we could buy today i uh, think we're probably gonna have to get an inline spinner though kind of like last time get that one dollar spinner and kind of go from there uh just gonna have to do some looking around that's for sure Ooh, swim baits swim baits are definitely cheap and good we might have to try those dollar 22 yep we're doing that good definitely a winner right there the bitsy bug i know it's 224 but it is under three dollars super cheap little jig I'll show you guys how we can use that at the lake One dollar. There she is. I'm all in. Look at this guy. Holy sparkles. Hmm. Not today. Definitely gonna grab some chunks. These are uh, super chunks. Will be a money trailer on that dude right there. Oh, here we go. The always popular one dollar spinner baits. Man, I can't stand any of these colors that are here though. I kind of want like a jerk bait or something, but all the jerk baits that are here honestly really suck and they're all like five six bucks crappie crankbait god that thing just looks freaking terrible but i want a jerk bait but that looks terrible it's so small tiny jerk bait challenge is what this just turned into Ugh. we might have to do it we might have to add some weight to this guy and do it i mean this is six dollars for all these look how small that thing is it's the smallest damn crankbait i've ever seen it's got my jerk baits in there too Hmm, that's what we're gonna do right here. We're going with the old faithful, the beetle spin. I'm actually pretty stoked for this challenge. I've caught so many fish growing up on this beetle spin. Bass, trout, crappie, everything. They freaking love these things. Now that it's a little bit colder outside, this might actually be the ticket. Something a little bit slower, something you can pull on the bottom of the lake. It's not. It's just a really, really small profile. All right, so just to show you guys what we ended up with for today. Beetle spin, this jerk bait thing. Swim baits. Dollar inline spinner. Bitsy bug, little tiny finesse jig, and trailers for the bitsy bug. Let's check out. Oh, how legit is that? Ouch. Man, Max would freaking love that car set, but he's got uh, so many toys. We're already thinking about buying gifts for a, for a family this winter, so what I'm gonna do is, if this video gets to 5,000 thumbs ups, I will go buy that kit right there and go find a child that didn't get any presents this Christmas and give it to them. So go hit the thumbs up. I'm jacked. Let's go get some gear loaded up, head to the lake, see if we can catch some fish on these. Let's go. All right, we are at 
the lake. Drove about 40 minutes. Actually, we're at the lakes, I should say. There's about 20 lakes out here, so it's gonna be a nice opportunity to kind of bounce around. Maybe try a couple different of these lakes if uh, the bite's not too fire. But here's one we're starting at right here. That's a uh, that's a Porta John. That's not a lake. And this one's got trout, bass, panfish, a little bit of everything in it. So I'm gonna get the baits tied up. All right, folks, to the lake. Here's what I brought today. Ended up bringing uh, three rod and reels. We got two spinning rods and one bait caster since I kind of figured that most of these baits are lighter, so spinning rods would be good for those, but definitely had to tie the old bitsy jig with the little chunk on the bait caster. And then, of course, my uh, super high-tech tackle box. This is a MF exclusive, just like my boat handle was on my mini boat, MF exclusive tackle box. Pretty much all I ended up packing in the tackle bag here was the baits I bought and then I threw another trailer in there. Scissors, die marker, super glue, stuff like that. Maybe some line for a lead or two. But uh, yeah, let's get out and fish this. I kind of want to flip around here with this jig. Start off with the old yig. Kind of go from there just to give you guys an idea of what that looks like. That's like a, a proven winner for smallmouth and cold water largemouth for me. Doesn't have the best hook on it. The little bitsy jig doesn't, but that, uh, that smaller profile can be absolutely deadly this time of year. I'm gonna have to tear some of that orange out of there. It's pretty clean water, but let's give her a go, see if we can catch one on this dock. There it is, there's our jig. Ooh, that orange is bright. Yeah, let's rip some of those orange strands out. That water is probably way too clean for all this orange in there. There we go, a little bit less now. Of course, if we rip out too much, it's not gonna have anything. It'll just be a jig head with a little tiny trailer. We don't want that. All right, boom. What's up, dude? I thought about hitting you up, see if you were coming out here. Yeah, I come out here on my lunch break all the time. Badass, man. Man, it's been slow. Yeah. Been catching it out here? Uh, the last just bass slow. I caught was on little crappie jigs, just crappie fishing. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I might have to go over there then. I got like a beetle spin and shit, so. Oh, yeah. Where's number nine at from here? Oh. What? Okay. What? Son, that's big. Musky? Oh, it's a musky. Dude, it's a musky. Is it a musky? It's a musky. Dude, I'm not kidding you. It's a musky. It's a big one, too. You're going to have to walk around to the edge. Dude, this hook is so little. I just saw him come. Dude, it's a musky. I saw him roll. Nice. Unbelievable, dude. First flip down here on this. You just dropped it down. Just dropped it down. Oh, that's good. Yeah, dude, that's a big old tank. Does this have oh. poles to go down in? Uh, yeah. It's not a floater, the right? Here has poles. <gasps> You're gonna have to kind of swing them around. Dude, <laughs> unreal. Don't do anything sneaky here, musky. Oh god, this oh, hooks on you, this you thing. Got a beast hook set too. That's oh, dude. The hooks on this thing. Freaking, the hook on it sucks. Like it's gonna be. Dude, you I found him. a musky. <laughs> Please don't come off. It looked giant, but I Did don't really have, Yeah. I just saw the flash of it. Oh my God. Please don't bite me off. Please don't straighten out hook. And please don't dive on into this dock. On the bitsy. <laughs> on the bitsy bug. How's that for a Walmart challenge? Oh my God, <laughs> dude. He's just going Thank back and forth. He, seriously, is there any brush piles down there? No, nope, you're pretty clear. Well, that's great to hear at least. Yeah, dude, I don't, I mean, I don't know how big it is, but it was at least like, what kind look, of test you running? this is heavy. It's like 17 or 15. I mean, he hadn't even, I haven't moved him. I'm scared to pull on him too hard with this little hook though. Yeah, I hear you. I don't want to straighten out. I really don't want him to dive underneath that dock. I can't believe he hadn't tried to. He's taking me out to sea. <laughs> Oh God! Oh yeah, oh Dude, yeah. Dude, that looks like a big. Oh yeah. <laughs> we gotta get this one. <laughs> we gotta get this one. I like totally forgot there was even musky in here, dude. Yeah, a lot of people don't even think they're still in here. They are. There's, there's one. Oh my God. Make the run. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it, always pulling out there. You got wise to me. Oh, don't do it. Don't get in that pole. Oh, 
Oh no! How big is that? Huh? How big is that one? That looks I have no idea, like, gauging <laughs> size. Yeah, it looks like it. Don't do it. Don't go in there. Here we go. She's got to be close. It's pretty thick. Oh, oh. oh God. Oh. oh, it's on the outside of his mouth, too. Oh my God, dude. Oh, dude, yes. dude, that's oh, so that big. Fatty. That is so big. Oh my God, dude. Can't even freaking lift him. Oh my God, dude. Oh my gosh. That is such a heavy fish. You oh. don't have a tape on you, do you? Dude, that thing is so heavy. Oh my so God. fat. Unbelievable. Yeah, I don't have a tape, but I got this rope. I can just cut it off to whatever length it is or whatever. Here's the old uh, redneck measuring system. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you caught this. Dude, me either. It's like what to there? He's bent a little bit, but... Oh my gosh. That's just a terrible way to measure. That's unbelievable. <sighs> that thing is absolutely insane. Can't believe I seriously just caught this on a, a little bitsy jig. Yeah. Little tiny jig. Giant musky. How much do you think this thing weighs, dude? You're the musky master. It felt like 20, 25. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's heavy. So it thick. is a fall fat musky. Oh my God, dude. That thing has been feeding. All right, I'm gonna get the hook at him. Get him back in the water. Look at that, that's it. Oh my gosh. That is it. Okay. All right. Kind of just hold there and let yep. it revive. What did it do? Did it fall out of it? Yeah, hardly anything. Look how freaking fat that fish is. Oh my god. <laughs> That's like my first flip in there. There she goes. Oh my god. How do you feel? <laughs> Dude, I'm shaking. <laughs> That's insane. I didn't even know they were in here. I had I totally forgotten. I didn't even know they were <laughs> Well, best challenge ever. I'll take it. <laughs> Little tiny jig. Giant musky. Well, I'm going home. See ya. <laughs> All right, guys, pause the video for just a second right now. I'm doing the edit right now, and I want to take a second to talk about this fish I just caught. So whenever I'm in my boat, I always have my scale with a tape measure, ruler, everything that are available. Now, today, when I was fishing, I seriously had no idea I would catch or hook into a caliber of fish like this during my cheap little lure challenge. So I guess this is a lesson into always carry your scale, your ruler, everything. And that way of measuring that fish, honestly, I never would have measured that fish. I would have freaking had Dylan hold him there in the water, something, whatever, run to the hardware store and grab a scale and a ruler, whatever, if I would have known how big that fish was. So obviously that wasn't the best way to, to pull a string out and measure them, especially with the fish bent a little bit. Cause I was thinking the muskie was like low 40 inches or so. Great, great fish, super, super fat. But then when I took that string home and measured it when I got home, it measured 48 inches. And so that was like an absolutely epic muskie. One for the state of Nebraska, two uh, on like a 10 acre, five, 10 acre lake, three, a stocked muskie, uh, and four, this is a public lake that gets fished a, just a ton. So. Honestly, even though this isn't as big as some of the, the muskie you see maybe caught in Canada or, or something that people catch in, in the north or catch often at these some of these big fish factories, to me, this was maybe the most impressive fish I've ever caught in my entire life. It does kill me that I didn't get a weight or have a real accurate measuring system on it. I'm sure I'll get grilled down in the comments because I kept the fish out too long or, or didn't handle them properly, but... 
just to assure you, I would have kept them out of the water and figured out an exact size if I didn't want to harm that fish and not get them back into the water, which he did get back in successfully, revived really quick, everything. So I was super stoked about that. But from looking online, the average like 48 inch fish is generally low 30 some pounds. Um, this one was uh, clearly, I don't know if the video can really do it justice of how fat that fish actually was. They just stocked trout in that like a couple days ago. So I think he was feeding up really, really well. But regardless, incredible fish. And I'm sorry if that, that fight got a little bit long. It was actually like a 13, 14 minute fight without cutting anything out of it. I felt that fish deserved that, uh, that, that long fight time, fight scene. All shown, but back to the video. Uh, using the Bitsy Bug a little bit more. Dude, I don't even wow. Wow. know. Look at, look at the size of that hook. I know, and it's sh <laughs> Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess it's it's small and stout enough. Yeah. It didn't bend out at all, or roll. Dude, sick. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. I guess we'll keep fishing. All right, folks, don't want to do it, but I guess I'm uh, going to try a different lure. I kind of just want to throw that Bitsy Bug around now, see if I can catch fish all day. But I'm going to pick up the old inline spinner. I guess I'll uh, try to teach you guys or, or catch some fish on something else for you, even though I just want to throw that same Bitsy Bug all day and try to catch another muskie. That was an insane catch. But here it is, dollar inline spinner. See if we can catch one. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Trout. I'm a multi-species angler. <laughs> Boom! You guys want to know what, uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. And killed him. <laughs> you guys want to know why that muskie was so big and healthy? Because they just stocked these a couple days ago. Beautiful trout on the inline spinner. All right, we've caught fish on two different baits, two different species. Probably should have kept him, but Oh well, he'll probably die and be on the bank in five minutes. Call it a success. All right, so I caught the trout on the inline spinner. I'm gonna try this little, I don't know, crankbait? This crappie crankbait it's called. Feels like it weighs negative six ounces. So I don't know how I'm gonna really cast it, get it up in the wind maybe. I don't know if it's gonna work right, but worth a try, I suppose. Got the real light, ultra light set up on the spinning rod. It's still about impossible to cast. Uh. Okay, well this thing's got like kind of nice tight action, but it wants to just roll over on its side. Yeah, I would uh, advise not to purchase this. It doesn't even, it won't even run right. I think this was actually like almost three dollars to something. Yeah, I mean, you can't even like, you can't jerk this thing, nothing. There's, there's just nothing to it. I don't know, I might try in the future putting some heavier hooks on this or maybe like some lead tape around the hooks so it kind of stays down. It just wants to roll over. Kind of is a cool little bait, but I'm not so sure what you can do with it. Maybe next time. All right, so I just made a little move to a, another little lake. I might as well try another dock as well. I just watched the footage from catching that musty, must, the musty, that musky, and I'm like, I, I can't even believe that just happened. I mean, that is such a rare fish for Nebraska. This wasn't in Canada. People go to Canada or the north to catch fish like that. That's a stocked musky in Nebraska in like a five acre pond. Unbelievable fish catch. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to top that one for a very, very long time, but this is the new battleground. Let's catch more species on some new little baits. Let's go. All right, first thing I'm trying here, I'm just gonna kind of check around the outside of this dock right here, see if there's any largemouth present that want to eat this little bit. Ooh, we got another super, super clean lake, which I really, really like this time of year. I don't think there's any musky in this lake. I don't think anyway. Let's see if we can get her done. Oh, got one. Ooh, that's a good feeling fish. All right, a bass. Got pretty is fighting that clean water. Boom! This day keeps getting better and better. I found a little brush pile right down here and I was shaking this little bitsy bug through it. Man, how many times have I said bitsy bug in this video? Probably like a million. Caught this healthy little cold water bass. He is so freaking cold. But I was just shaking it through that brush pile and caught a bass. Another another fish on the bitsy jig. I'm gonna switch it up now. I gotta use some different types of baits. Get him back in the water. There he goes. 
Hell yeah. Three species. Now I need to go for four species. I get four species, I'm probably taking off. This has been an epic, epic day. Well, folks, that is the end of the Walmart challenge for today. Crazy day, that muskie just, I can't stop thinking about it. That was an unbelievable catch for this part of the country for a public five acre lake. Pretty speechless about that. That's uh, just an incredible catch. Plus I caught a trout and a bass um, on these cheap little baits I bought from Walmart this morning. It goes to show you do not need to go out and spend a ton of money on tackle to catch fish. I would recommend checking these baits out. These are all baits I've caught fish on the past and obviously caught a fish of a lifetime on one of them today. Don't forget to go hit the thumbs up if you like these videos. Remember, if it gets to 5,000 thumbs ups, I will buy that car set for a family in need this Christmas. So I hope I can do that. And of course, go subscribe to Melican Fishing if you like these style videos. Let me know down in the comments what kind of challenge videos you want to see moving forward. But thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really, really appreciate that. And I'll be back with the video very, very soon. Hopefully tomorrow. I'm out of here. Peace.